Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn how to run background tasks in React Native. So you can see that I have run the task background. You can see that here, right? So if I go and just check this one where it, it is, uh, let me start the code also. Here we have just uh, stopped the service. Okay. So let me start the service. Now I have started the service. Okay. Let's go to the two, three, four, five. It's in the background right now because we are not in the app right now. It's going to say background tasks are running. Okay. If I go and check and uh, stop the service. Okay. And the stop the service background service is stopped. And you can see that here, the service is stopped. Okay. So there is no service running in out. Okay. So how to run such kind of background services in react native. We are going to learn in this video. So those who haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started how we are going to implement this thing. Okay. So here, let's create a basic app from here. So where is the basic app creation? Give me a second. Uh, this is the basic creation of the app. So I'm going to create the basic app. Okay. Uh, or you can just, uh, we can go through with this app. Uh, otherwise it will consume the much more of time. Right. So let's go to the application part or the code level so this one i am using react native background actions this package i'm using you need to just copy this one and uh, install this package and after that you can see that they have the background service from the background actions and they have the sleep one and uh, here you can see that they have the intensive and intensive task which we are uh, they are doing the manipulation of the background service is running or not and they are the sending the options, which options when there is an app in the background. Okay. And there is a uh, two functions that is a start and stop. If you want to start the service, you have to use this one. If you want to stop the service, you can use this one and update the notifications like uh, how many times it is running. So you can use this one background service notification, task description, whatever the new task example description, right? So this will explain uh, like, uh, like let's see this one. When I on the notification part like this, uh, this not this background service is running how many times so you can add such kind of things. Okay. In your react native, right? So let's move to the code level, which I have implemented. Let's see how it looks. So here we have used the background job in the background actions in the react native and there is a sleep the same time over here. Okay. Then there is a background job on. Okay. And there is a task random, which way I'm using. And here we have the promise that we are trying to delay task data. Background job is running with the delay. And here we have console how many times it is running. And then we have firing the update notification, right? And there, there is a task descending and there's a progress bar. Okay. There's a progress bar, bar is two. Okay. And here is the options that we are sending um, into that one. So where it is toggle, when I click on the toggle background, if I go and check this one, so here we go with this one where it is, no, this one. So this is a toggle. Okay. So this is the toggle that is our stop background service has run this one. So I have just click on that one. If toggling the background, background job dot start task random and options we are going to send. Then console dot log whether you preventing the error. And here you can see that the on press toggle background, this function will run. And the task random, whatever we have meant, uh, added the logic over, over here, you can see that and the update notification, all the things will come into this one and it will trigger the notifications in the background, right? So this is the basic concept that I'm using over here in the module. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.